This is my large Dutch oven. I use a uh, 12 inch, eight quarts. It's a camp Dutch oven. You can tell because it has feet, or legs rather, that are about, I don't know, an inch and a half or two inches long. So you can uh, put fire underneath it too. Uh, or, you know, let it set on a piece of concrete when you're cooking. And uh, there's like a formula you can look up online and, and use charcoals and then count how many you up on top. You put them and space them around and then on the bottom and you get the certain temperature. Uh, I don't remember it. I have to look it up every time I, I, I use the thing. And it, it kind of works as long as it's not windy. And if it's windy, you better build you a fire ring or something to keep the wind from blowing on the coals because it'll just mess everything up. Right now I'm seasoning it. I just kind of boiled it up and get, I'm going to put it in the oven and get it real hot. And then it'll kind of get a black coating. Once my wife uh, tried this thing out, she just loves it. And she uses it for making uh, gumbo and stuff. We're going to make chicken and dumplings. That'd probably be a good thing to make in there. Uh, when you make gumbo, it has to, we do it with the tomatoes in it. And it kind of eats up on the, on the black. But we just redo it. It'll turn black again. I like to keep mine kind of nice black looking. And how you do that is... Uh, coat it with oil y'all can argue about what kind of oil works the best I don't know lard probably because that's what the pioneers had they didn't have Pam or nothing like that or canola or a lot of the fancy oils that we have so they probably used lard and that's what I use too so I get a little oily I'm going to put it in that oven that's about 500 degrees and let it sit there until it's smoking. That'll kind of burn the oil on, so to speak. They call that seasoning. And that's what I'm fixing to do here today. It's going to get a little smoky in here. So, deal with it. But, I'll probably take that camping with me when I go. I make biscuits in it. I use like a 9 inch round cake pan. And then I'll uh, get three rocks. Off the, off the road and stick them in a triangle on the bottom and then you can uh, you know set it up to where it's hot with the right amount of coals and all this and that then you put your uh, biscuits in the pan and then put your pan in the, the pot that's already hot so to speak you use a hammer and you can a claw hammer and you can just get right there and then lift the lid off you don't need no fancy lid lifter just a, a claw hammer uh, and maybe a, a pair of gloves so you don't burn your hand but that's what I do when I'm uh, out camping and I'll make biscuits in that and then uh, use the biscuits to make little breakfast snacks with bacon and eggs and cheese then I can warm them up on the on my uh, heater in the duck line that's how I roll man I'm looking so forward to doing it. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Have a great day. Maybe I'll see you out there. Bye-bye.